Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi there. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm ready to class. But, That's the attitude. But uh, let me... Let me tell you that it's raining right now. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. All right. I hope that the rain doesn't affect your connection. Yes, I hope so. Also. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks for informing. I will I will be keeping in mind that. Okay. okay. Very Thank good. All right. Hello, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I, I am finish, finishing a report in in. in 50 minutes, I participate in class. Okay, perfect. No problem. Thanks for telling me. Thank you. All right. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? How was your weekend? What do you do? Anything interesting? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was and your you weekend? Good. I I went to Guatepec Lake. Oh, really? That's great. Excellent. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, let's see. I can see nobody with the camera on. What's going on? I want to see you guys. All right, welcome, welcome. Okay, so today is Monday. We are starting a new week. So welcome to the week number uh, did you work on the platform, everybody? Did you advance? Yes, no, a little bit? Teacher. Not much? It's a, little, it's a little bit. Okay, all right. Now, I was checking your progress, actually, and uh, if you remember, there was an exercise uh, that always have, um, like, the incorrect answer. You remember? It was always giving you a mistake. So we are going to check that. Uh, let me share with you uh, the platform. Uh, let's see. Can you see the platform, everyone? Yes? Yes, yes I can see it. OK. If you see, um, well, I'm trying to do it bigger. Give me a second. OK. You got, oh, most of you got 96. The reason why you didn't get 100% is because in one exercise, there is one answer that is a mistake of the platform that is always giving you an error. Do you remember? I think that it was the number two in the exercise 1.7, if I'm not wrong. So for the people, listen, only the people who got, uh, who got 96, Okay, I'm going to give you the points. Okay, so on my report, I will write a hundred percent. Okay, I'm not going to write 96, I'm going to write a hundred. Okay, because in this case, it's not because of you, it's because of the platform. Okay, so for everybody with 96%, I will give you 100, but only for the one who got the uh, 96. If you have less, I mean, you can try to get a better score in the exercises. So, so far so good. I can see a lot of people with good grades. Remember everybody that the minimum percent that you can get on the platform is 80. So if you get 80 of, or more, that's great. But if you have less, mm -mm, we need to improve a little bit more, okay? So, so far so good. I can see a lot of people working on the platform. So that's pretty good. And that's it. So 
We are in the week number two, so you can start working on the unit number two, okay? And again, if you have questions about the platform, just let me know. Any questions so far? Yes? yes sure. uh, what uh, course is this? Yes, I was about to ask you <laughs> because yeah. uh, you are new, right? Yes, but uh, it, for me, it's the first day of the intermediate. Uh, okay, this is intermediate four. I don't know in which intermediate you should be. Number one. Oh, yes, this is no, not your course. Okay. okay, no worries. Me too. Uh, Sandra. Yes. No worries. Who? Uh, Daniel Eduardo. Okay, give yes. me one second. Give me one second. I'm going to report that immediately. Okay, let's see. Intermedio uno, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, voy a pedir, tal vez me pueden compartir el link, ok. Ok, let's see. Ok, who else? ¿Quién más debería estar en el intermedio 1 y no en el intermedio 4? Solo ustedes, Sandra, Karen, Daniel. En Isaías, teacher. Isaías, tú? Yes. Yes. Ok. Well, um, ya pedí el link. Espero que lo envíen pronto y al nomás tener el link, se los reenvío para que ustedes puedan unirse a la clase que deberían. Um, but we have to wait. Ok. Pero mientras okay. tanto, pueden quedarse. I mean, you are welcome to stay here in the class. Ya pronto estarán en el nivel intermedio 4, así que you can start sharing with us. Oh, but uh, let's see. I have Jorge Solorzano. Hello, mister. Uh, I have a situation here. Tenemos estudiantes del intermedio 1 y ese es intermedio 4. Entonces, este debería ser su primer día. No sé si nos podría ayudar. Please. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Lee. Buenas noches. Ok, este, me dice que sí. hay algunos cambios con el, eh, va, Varios van para el intermedio, me dice. Sí, oh. acá tengo, lo que pasa es que quizás le dieron el link equivocado porque tengo a Sandra Elizabeth, tengo a Karen Leticia, Daniel Eduardo. Ellos me dicen que ellos deberían, este es su primer día, pero para el intermedio uno. Entonces creo que les dieron un link que no era. Para el intermedio Ok, vale. Permítanme entonces su consulto. Eh, si gustan, en este momento se pueden quedar uh -huh. a lo que es a esta clase. Eh, cuando podamos solventar, yo les estaría confirmando, ¿verdad? O los, el equipo de inglés corporativo. Perfect. Ok, muchas gracias. All right. So, everybody, welcome again. Thank you so much for being on time. And again, guys, you are welcome to stay in our class. Así que. No worries, welcome. Okay, do you remember, everybody, do you remember what were the topics that we studied last week? Uh-huh. We learned the last week uh, about uh, extremely adjectives, uh, distribution channels, and... Um, Comparative. Superlative, yeah. Superlative. Ah, yeah. excellent. Very good. I see you remember. Expression so we are going... of certainty. Correct. Okay, we are going to continue practicing those topics. Okay. And I hope you are ready to speak. Okay, so everybody, 
Um, for the ones that goes for the intermediate ones, eh, siéntanse en toda la libertad de participar. Ok, hagan de cuenta que esta es su clase. Ok, son muy bienvenidos. Así que, free, you are free to participate. Ok, don't worry about it. Ok, eh, let me start sharing the presentation. Can you see it? Yes, yes I can. Excellent. Ok, today is July 3rd. Basically, we are starting a new month. And this is the week number two, and we are going to continue talking about the unit number one. As your classmate mentioned, uh, the last week, especially in fri uh, on Friday, we were talking about some adjectives. So we are going to continue discussing that. But first, let me tell you the topic for today. Today, we are going to talk about the relevance of logistic, okay? And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Uh huh. Me, teacher. I, I think Lorena says first. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, class objective participants will be able to express the advantage of outsourcing a 3PL third party logistic service provider. Thank you. So today we are going to talk about this, outsourcing. Have you ever heard that word? Outsourcing? Subcontratado? Yeah. Yes, exactly. So we are going to talk about it, okay? But before talking about that topic, we are going to practice and remember the extremely adjectives. Let's see if you remember. Um, I have these adjectives. Which ones have a good meaning or positive meaning? Do you remember? Awesome. Awesome is positive. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yes. Terrific. Wonderful, terrific. Only those ones? Yes? Yeah. So, which ones has negative meaning? Yeah. Appealing. Do you remember what the meaning was? Yes, you know. mm -hmm. This is like horrendous this is like terrible okay let's see um vamos a hacer una pausa eh, sorry pero me acaban de enviar el link chicos para los que deberían estar en el intermedio one ahorita me acaban de enviar el link se los voy a compartir aquí en el chat de zoom eh, give me a second okay let's see Y por si les pide contraseña or something, aquí van los details. Ok. Esos son los, ok, para todos nuevamente los que pertenecen o deberían estar en el intermedio 1, ahí les comparto el link. Ese es el link de su clase, así que pueden dejar la reunión si gustan y entrar a ese link. Eh, les recomiendo que pues se reenvíen ese link a un mensaje de WhatsApp if you want y así puedan entrar a la clase. Ok. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, meet you guys. You. Buena suerte en el Intermedia One. Nos vemos. Okay. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, for the ones that are in intermediate one, that's the link. Okay, that's the link. If anyone else, eh, no sé quién más debería estar en el intermedio uno, así que ahí está el link, everybody. Isaías, Santana, I think you are intermediate one. Así que ahí está el link correcto de su clase para que se pueda unir a ellos. Okay, the rest. Guys, are you for intermediate four? Aha. You have to give a good example. Do you see? Now the students, so hey, they can speak English very well. That's good. 
Awesome. Okay, we are going to continue. And is this, <laughs> hello, Karen? Le funcionó el link, I'm sorry. O lo envió a la misma clase. Hello. No quiere ir. Yeah. I don't know. Quizás se confundieron the link. Okay, well, sorry guys for that inconvenience. Sometimes that happens, right? There are so many links, so many groups. So those mistakes can happen. Okay, let's go back on business. Let's go back on track. So a paling, positive or a negative adjective? What do you think? Negative. Negative. Negative, yes. How about horrendous? Negative. Negative, negative. too, exactly. How about terrible? Negative. Negative. If I say dreadful. Negative. Negative too. So imagine in this moment I can ask you, hey guys, how was your day? So today is Monday. We are starting a new month. We are starting a new week. How was your day? How was your Monday? Pick one of these adjectives to describe it. Uh-huh. This Monday was absolutely horrendous. No way, really? But why? Uh, for problems in the job, maybe the bus is outside the office and it's a, a chaos. <laughs> a chaos. Yeah, I imagine that. Okay, and you guys? This Monday was easier than last Monday. Easier, okay. I mean, that's something positive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. What <I'll> else? <laughs> okay, sounds good, sounds good. And you guys, how was your Monday? Uh-huh. You can use positive or negative, so. Mm. No volunteers. I will be asking individually if I don't have volunteers. My day was terrific. Ah, sounds good. Tell us what happened. I can I can I can make many things. Mm, sounds good. Excellent. If you remember, guys. We were talking about these adjectives and there is a word that we can add to make an emphasis. Instead of saying very, what is the word that we can use? Absolutely. Very good. So remember, we can say absolutely. For example, hey, how was your day? Ah, oh, today was absolutely horrendous, okay? Or the opposite, I, it was absolutely brilliant. It was absolutely awesome. Okay, uh, let's see, how was the traffic today? Uh-huh, for the ones who drives, how was the traffic? Ah, come on, let's the traffic, the traffic always is terrific. No, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Ah, terrible. Yeah. Okay, all right. And you guys, how was the traffic? It was, it was dreadful and integration. Mm, yeah, uh, right. The people or the workers uh, stopped the work. Uh, because no payment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no money, no work. Money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. So you see, you are using these extremely adjectives to describe a situation, okay? Now, we are going to continue, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. 
Everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, let's see. Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. All right, Carlos, you were in here last class, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, Friday, I have a problem. Okay. All right, but welcome back. <laughs> welcome Thank back. Thank you. All right. Um, Carlos Ernesto? Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio? Edwin Antonio? Present. All right, very good. Edwin, you weren't here on Friday either, right? Yes, I was busy. Yeah, all right. Very good. Um, so welcome back to. <laughs> Uh, remember guys, attendance is important. I know that sometimes you are very, very busy. So my recommendation is um, enter as a listener, okay? Um, so you cannot participate, I understand, but at least you are here on Zoom. So Zoom can count your attendance, okay? That's a, a friendly recommendation. Um, Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulise Torres. I think he's listener, okay. Jose Miguel Torres. No, okay. Eh, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Josman Atilio. Present, teacher. All right, very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Here. Excellent, very good. Eh, Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very good, excellent. Pamela Carolina. Present. Excellent, very good. Rafael Alexander. Rafael Alexander, no. Okay. He sang, uh, he sang uh, Oh, yes, he's the one, right, that Okay, yeah, what happens, guys, and please, when you send a message, add, uh, thank you, but uh, add uh, um, a message with your name. I don't have your uh, numbers <laughs> registered on my WhatsApp, so when you wanted to ask or inform something, I will appreciate that you write your names, okay? At least one name and one last name, and that's all. Okay, thank you, Rafael. Uh, let's see who's next. Um, Santiago Roberto. Nope. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Okay, it says listener. All right. Well, let's continue then. Always talking about extreme adjectives. Uh, if you remember on Friday, we were matching the common adjectives with the equivalent of extremely adjective. And we were saying that instead of saying tired, I mean, tired is basic, but we are not basic anymore. Instead of saying tired, what can I say? Mm -hmm. Cansado. Mm, yes, but in English? Exhausted. Exhausted. Ah exhausted for example today is monday right you can say ah, i feel tired but on friday night how do you feel tired or exhausted uh-huh exhausted exhausted exactly so you can say it it sounds much better Okay, and remember, we are trying to learn new vocabulary. Okay, hungry is for basic. Instead of hungry, what can we say? Starving. Starving. Starving, very good. Have you ever felt starving? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. How about dirty? Mm 
a filthy filthy correct what is the meaning of filthy everyone do you remember Filthy. Sediento. I'm sorry? Sediento. As mm, asqueroso. That is the one. Algo asqueroso. Remember that filthy is the opposite of clean. Clean. Is the opposite. Exactly. Okay. Now, crowded. What is the meaning of crowded? Do you remember? Um, for example, a place with a lot of people. Exactly. Very good. Imagine, guys, when you want to go to the beach um, on the Holy Week. <laughs> Have you ever gone to the beach on Holy Week or on December 25th or January 1st? Have you ever gone to the beach that day? Sure. <laughs> so how is the beach? The beach is crowded. crowded, a lot of people. So instead of saying crowded, what do you think? What is the word that we can use? Letter H. Oiling. Packed. 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 Okay, Packed. very good. Exactly. That means a lot of people, too much, right? I mean, a lot. Okay, now angry is basic. Instead of saying angry, what can we say? Furious. 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 Very good. When was the last time you were furious? Uh huh. Do you remember? When? When was the last time you felt furious? Today? Today. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> what happened? Why? Why did you feel uh, furious? For the same reason for my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you guys, when was the last time you felt furious? Uh huh. Last weekend. All of my days that I worked. <laughs> oh my goodness. So every day at work. Okay. Anyone else? No? Okay. Okay. Now I got the adjective small. Instead of a small, what can we say? Tiny. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, very tiny. good. So tiny is something diminutive, right? It's very, very small. For example, um, if you see, can you name an animal that is tiny? Mice. Yes, mice. What else? Which animal do you consider <laughs> is tiny? <laughs> And, yeah. Yes, exactly. Pretty good. Okay, the opposite of small is big. So, what is the opposite of tiny? Huge. No, huge. Know, but... Yes, uh -huh. pronunciation huge. 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 Exactly. Can you tell me or can you think about something that is huge? Elephant. An giraffe. elephant. A giraffe. What else? In general, what is something huge? Mm hmm. Canada, for example, do you think that Canada is tiny or huge? It's huge. It's huge, exactly. Very good. Okay, hot. 
what would be an extreme adjective instead of hot? Boiling. Boiling, all right. So imagine if I ask you guys, what is the weather like? Is it hot or boiling? What do you think? Uh -huh. It's boiling. <laughs> it's boiling, very good. Now, the opposite of hot is cold. So what is the opposite of boiling? Freezing. Freezing. Yes. Which country or countries have freezing weather? Canada. Canada, yes. Another one? Antarctic. The Antarctic, definitely. Mm -hmm. What else? Another one? Alaska. Alaska, Russia. Okay, so they have freezing weather. Would you like to have freezing weather? Yes or no? Uh huh. No? No. <laughs> Maybe a little cold, but extremely no. Exactly. Yes. Very good point. So maybe cold, but not freezing. All right. Now the last one. Tasty. Instead of saying tasty, what can we say? Delicious. Very Delicious. good. Can you tell me a food that for you is delicious? Uh -huh. For me, the tacos teacher are Taco. delicious. Okay, very good. Yes, tacos are delicious. And for you guys, can you tell me delicious food? How do you say entraña teacher? Which one? Entraña, how do you say? <laughs> Entraña, I'm not sure. Let me search for it. Uh, for um, me, delicious. The peep. <laughs> Entrañas, okay. You can with, with peep. It's. it's Which meat. one? Ah. Uh huh. With okay. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm. I'm <laughs> Searching for that's like entrañas, right? Um, it will say like got, like like this. Got. So it will be basically like if we say las tripas, right? So, do you like it? <laughs> no tripas. <laughs> Okay. Las, las, las entrañas creo que son los más parecidas a los pulmones. No, es no. una parte de la, de la res. When, for example, when you eat mondongo soup, is that what you mean? Mm, es como, es un tipo. Entraña una, es un corte de tomate. carne. Ah. Es una parte, ajá, que tiene un poquito más de grasa y es la que le da más sabor. Mm, ok. Pero es como un bistec. Okay, es como el puyazo, is something like that? Algo así. Ah, okay, so definitely it is not guts. Okay, I have never heard about it. <laughs> okay, but that's interesting. Okay, so that is something delicious. If you see the idea guys is instead of using just the basic adjectives, let's try to use different ones. Okay, so instead of saying tired, okay, let's change it and say exhausted. Instead of saying, oh, yeah, I'm angry, no, let's say I'm furious. Instead of saying a eh, what big, let's say huge. Okay, that's the idea. Any questions with the meaning of one of these words?
Uh -huh. Sure. Yes. With these adjectives, we can use the the word absolutely too. All right. Yes. We can use absolutely with the extremely ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with the basic, what is the word that we can use? Very. Very. Exactly. With the basic, it's more common to use very. But with the other ones, we use absolutely. Okay? Now, we are going to have a practice. We are going to try to use extremely adjectives. So everybody pay a lot of attention here. I have here a list of the regular adjectives. And I have here the same meaning but in the extreme adjective for example instead of saying good what can we say fantastic fantastic so imagine if i say hey how was your day instead of saying ah oh, my day was good we can say ah oh, my day was fantastic mm -hmm. instead of imagine if i ask Hey guys, uh, how is your city? Ah, my city is clean. Hmm, instead of saying clean, what can we say? Mm -hmm. Spotless. 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 Yes, that means absolutely uh, perfect, right? Any dust is totally clean. Um, imagine that I want to say that the weather is bad. Instead of saying bad, what can we say? Terrible. Terrible. Hey, oh, how is how is the weather in your city? I is oh. terrible. Okay. So um, what we are going to do right now, I have here four scenarios, and I want you to talk about those four scenarios, describe it, but you have to use extremely adjectives. That's the idea, okay? Try to use extremely adjective instead of using only the basic. The first scenario is, look, try to describe a place you have visited, okay? Listen, it can be a good place or a bad place, the ones that you prefer. So for example, you can say, well, let me tell you, I have visited, or in simple past, uh, last weekend, I visited a restaurant. It was fantastic. The food was, can I say test, uh, tasty? Or what is delicious. that? Delicious. That's the one. The food was delicious. I love it. I ate a lot. And then, you know what? I asked for a dessert and they gave me a huge piece of cake. It was huge and delicious. It was a fantastic service. I love that restaurant. And you know what? People there, they were very jubilant. And also, guys, it was spotless. So you see, I'm just describing a restaurant and I'm using extreme adjectives. Of course, I'm talking in a positive way, but you can use negatives too. Guys, last weekend I visited a restaurant. It was filthy. I mean, it was very disgusting. I was exhausted. I just wanted to be in a place where I can relax, but mm -mm, I couldn't. The place looks um, ancient, right? So I thought, what is going on here? <laughs> the food, man, was terrible. I didn't like it. The tables and the portions were tiny. And the worst thing is that it was very expensive. 
you know, I didn't like it. So I don't want to go there never again. So you see, I talked and described a place in positive or negative way, but I always use extreme adjectives. That is what I want you to do. Understood? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. The activity? Yes. Yes. I need a volunteer to explain me what you will do. Uh huh. ¿Qué van a hacer ahorita? What is the activity? Can you explain me? I try. Um, uh -huh. The idea is imagine the situation uh, expressing each uh, number and answer with the extremely adjective. That is the one. Excellent. So if you want, you can take a screenshot. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's groups. But if you want to take a screenshot, you can do it. And remember, guys, you are intermediate four. So I wanted to give details. All right, the more get, uh, details you give, the best. Okay, you ready? Yes? Pretty good. If there is one of these adjectives that you don't know, okay, dictionary or one of your classmates maybe know it so you can ask them. The important thing, guys, don't use Spanish. All right, and remember that you can combine these adjectives with the word absolutely, okay? I'm sending uh, the scenarios on WhatsApp's group so you can see it there too. Let's start working. You will be in groups, okay? We don't have a lot of time for this activity. So everybody try to participate, please. This is the moment where you can talk. Let's see. Just give me a second. Let me to create a groups. If there is one of your classmates who is not participating, tell them, amen. Let's participate. Okay, always push your classmate to participate. Mm -mm. Okay, one second. Okay, let's go to work. Hello. Once dark. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Thanks. Who begins? <laughs> Volunteer. Mm -hmm. Carlos is volunteer. <laughs> okay, in my case. Um, well, the, fir the first one, the, the first uh, scenario, Carlos. Okay, ahí sí me ven ronco porque estoy, estoy mal de la garganta, si me ven ronco. Ah, okay. that is that is Spanish. <laughs> okay. I don't know how do you say <laughs> wrong <for> teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you know that guys? How to how can we say ronco? Mm, I don't know. Maybe explain that he how paying for the coat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm sending uh on Let's see, I'm sending in the chat. Give me a second. Can you see it? The pronunciation Horse. is hers. 
hers. Y yes. How do you say garganta? Throat. 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 So, if you want to say, Robert. estoy ronco, you say, I am hers. Hers. Uh, hers. If you okay. want to say, like, me duele la garganta o tengo no, dolor de garganta, entonces decimos sore throat. Sore throat. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. throat. So, no more Spanish, all right? All right. Okay, and number one, mm -hmm. uh, in December, was visited USA. Uh, there was absolutely uh, total extreme. How do you say? Uh, mm. Freezing? Freezing. Freezing. Absolutely freezing. Uh, how I think less fifteen grades. Yeah, and I understand. Less fifteen grades. <laughs> Down ground zero. The freezer. Other one. Okay, me. I am last year I visited uh, Colombia and uh, I believe that is a, a fantastic uh, country. Uh, the culture is um, fantastic and the, the food is delicious is absolutely delicious uh, they have a mixture uh, about a uh, sweet with salad is a interesting mixture next <laughs> okay um, yeah. well uh, I, yeah. I visited a restaurant um, in the on the weekend, on the last weekend, uh, Buffalo Wings, and it was absolutely uh, fantastic because the weather in, in there, in this place, uh, was freezing and I like it. Elias? Yeah. Do you like cold? No? Yes. Ah. What about you? <laughs> yes, we are too. <laughs> Elias? Elias? Yesterday I visited Taqueria El Potrillo, Los Potrillos, and the food was absolutely delicious. <laughs> Um, when I eat the burrito, oof, uh, my my mind think I was in Mexico. Um, the 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 restaurant is very very um interested and well I. I visit the, the the place with my friends and it's a nice a nice visit for with, with friends. Um next sorry. Next question, Carlos. <laughs> uh, you can go there with friends and family. Um What else? Where is the uh, located this place? It's they had two um 
I think it's branches. Uh, one there um, near to Multicinema Reforma. Okay, okay. And the other one is in Antiguo Cucatlán, near to the park. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. you should go because the pizzas are delicious. Try it and you... And you Tell and me you about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Osman? Hello, guy. Hello, hello. A place you have uh, visited using extremely adjectives is the example. Okay, for example, for me, fantastic visited the mountain. It's my the preferred visit. Uh, for example, the Cerro Verde. Okay. Um, I like to visit the, I like the, the climb and the view the different beautiful place and um, volcano on lago this is my favorite place um, um second look second place is the beach for example i i live in sonsonate city um and really a different place visited in uh, for example beach mountain other place um Place is a uh, very small the um, the distance mm, is not not large is short is short. Mm, short, okay. Yeah. Uh, the delicious okay. in that the the food in that place. Sorry. How ah. is? It? Ah, it's my, uh, the seafood is my, my favorite food is fantastic for me. Okay, okay. Uh, you love this food? Yeah. Seafood. For me, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's delicious. Delicious. Fantastic. Yeah, that's. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what else, Carlos? Uh, uh, I visited the uh, the place uh, Casa de las Fresas. Oh, it's a uh, is uh, San Ignacio Chalatenango. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, is is very cool. The place is very uh, cool. Freezing. Yeah. The place is very cool. Okay. Is 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 a place is a, a, a very fun. Uh, it's a song. It's a song free uh, with uh, the natural. The sun is a uh, uh, very clean. Uh, the the food the food delicious is a uh, pupusas de fresa. What? Yes. Really? Ah. Uh, yes. A I have pupusa. never heard that. Mm, me too. It's a mix. It's a mix and the cheese and fresh with the strawberry. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continue. Uh, uh, the place is very, very elegant, and is is a similar a a, a a a hotel. Okay, a hotel. A hotel. hotel. Yeah. 
and and in in use is a uh, in use is is for the time is very very flash and the today okay okay the place is a uh, uh, is clean or or dirty repeat nelson the place the place is dirty or 40 40 40 45 and, and oh, one hour one hour you you the, travel uh you take the bus or you travel in a car in the car in the car and you 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 spend money in como se dice, how do you say gasolina uh combustible gas uh, gas gas Oh, okay. thank you, Edwin. Hey, thank you, Edwin. Hey, hey Edwin is here. <laughs> I don't see. I don't... I'm sorry, I'm sorry Jose, Jose Edwin. I'm sorry. Uh, I, 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 I don't see see you. I don't see you. It's okay. Don't worry. Hey, guys, you have to speak. Speak, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have to speak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where do you work, uh, uh, Edwin? I work in Confecciones del Valle. Okay. Confecciones del Valle. Yes. Uh, it, it's the last order. Sí, yes, in uh, Export Salva. It's correct. Last Friday, I thought going to, going to Confección del Valle. Pensé ir a Confección del Valle. But I, I can't, I can't, when I can't. Went, no, see, sí, no pude ir. I can't went, I can't went. I can't went. Mm, eh, my, my friend went to Confección del Valle en vez de mí. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I need, I, I need a watch, I need to watch a, a machine. All right, that's right. Yes. I don't know about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Eh, eh, what is, what is, what is, José Salvador, what do you say about adjective regular and extreme? Interesting. Interesting. Can, can you, can you give, give us an ex, uh, example using regular adjective or extreme adjective? Yes. This Saturday was absolutely terrible for me because Why? my Why? son Can you tell was, us? was sick. Oh, oh really? You were sick. So, uh, yes. did, uh, did you have fever? Yes. And cough. Ah, okay. Tos. Mm -hmm. Okay, but mm. but now you are good, right? Today is, is better. Oh. All right, time's up. We're going to go back to the main room. Let's wait for everyone to return to the main room. Okay, okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. All right. Okay, everyone, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Difficult. <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. uh, uh, what is the adjective extreme, the dangerous? Instead of dangerous. Yeah. Mm, 
let's see. Instead of dangerous, you can say risky. risky. Um, there is another one. Mm, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There is one, but it's depending. Um, if you are talking about something dangerous because um, it's something <laughs> scary, you can say just threatening. But if it is dangerous because it can kill you, so in that case, you can say murderous. So here is going to depend on which intention you want to give it. I'm sending the sentences and, and those words um, on WhatsApp group. Give me a second. So the first one is threaten. Okay, but again, it's going to depend on the intentions that you want to provide. Okay, let's see. Threatening, threatening, right? And the other one is murderous, but murderous, again, is depending on the intention. If you are trying to give a sense of dangerous because it can kill you, okay? That's the difference. Um, another question that you may have? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, oh. All adjectives have their strength. Extreme. Yes, what happens, guys, is every adjective has its synonyms, okay? So, for example, if you go to the dictionary, you can write, for example, beautiful, right? And you can search, A, what is the synonyms for beautiful? And there you will find more options. So what I recommend you guys is if you already know how to say beautiful, okay, let's use a synonym for that. If you already know how to say clean, okay, let's search for a synonym of clean. That's the way that you can get more vocabulary. Now, during the practice, I was listening to some groups and actually you were talking a lot. That's something that I like. In some groups I was listening that, I mean, everybody was, talk, it was talking, so that's awesome. Because the idea, everybody, is that you talk, that you participate. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? What do you think? No, never. <laughs> All right, okay, I hope so. Now, um, pay attention to these ones. These are some little details that I was listening during the practice. I'm going to show these sentences. Tell me if these sentences are correct or not. For example, yesterday I visit. Is that correct? No, it visit. It is? I Visited. Visited. Ah, visited. Look, if I'm talking about yesterday, the verb must be in simple past. Yesterday is in past, so the verb must be in past. past. So we are going to say yesterday I visited. If I'm talking still in simple past, I can say, yes, guys, yesterday when I eat. Can I say eat if I'm talking in past? Oh. What is the correct eight. one? Eight. Eight. Ah, eight. very good. Yesterday when I ate. Pretty good. Uh, imagine that your classmates say, hey, I've never heard that. Can you say something? Me too. Can I say that? I've never heard that. Ah, oh, me too. Is that correct? Me neither. me neither. Me neither. If you see, guys, when I'm saying never, the meaning is in negative. So if I have negative, I have to say neither. Me 
neither. We can use me too when the sentence is affirmative. For example, if I say, guys, yesterday I went to, to the beach. Ah, that sentence is affirmative. So you can say, yes, me too. Or imagine if I say, ah, I like pizza. You have to say, me too. But if the sentence is in negative, you will say, me neither. What is the translation of me neither? Yo tampoco. Exactly. Very good. So be careful with me too, me neither. Okay. Then we have this one. Teacher, Very, teacher. Yes. Um I don't I I know I I don't understand the the me neither? The, yes, yes. Okay, no it's worries. A, it's a, it's a the, I never okay, no worries. Let me explain. To start with, guys, remember, me too. What is the meaning for me too? Yo también. Yo también. So this is when you agree, when you think the same. This me too, it's only when the sentence is affirmative. For example, if I say, um, I worked on the platform. What would you say? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ah, very good. Me too. If you see this sentence, is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. It's affirmative. Imagine if I say, you know what, guys? I can play soccer, for example. What would you say? Mm. Ah, teacher, me too. So again, the sentence is affirmative. I say me too. Imagine if I say, guys, I love pizza. What would you say? Me too. Me too, okay? You mm. agree with me and the sentence is affirmative. We can use me too in all the grammar tenses. Um, if it is future, present, in past, it doesn't matter. We always say me too if the sentence is affirmative. Affirmative, okay. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, what happens if the sentence is negative? For example, instead of saying, I work on the platform, I want to say it in negative. If the sentence is negative, I will say, me neither. What is the meaning of me neither? Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. So imagine if I say, hey, I didn't work on the platform, is this sentence affirmative or negative? Negative. 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 So imagine, just thinking in Spanish, if I say, hey, no trabajé en la plataforma. Tendría sentido si ustedes me dijeran, yo también. ¿Tiene sentido? No. Nope. That's why we cannot say me too. In this case, we have to say me neither. Okay? Now, there are some words in English that they are negative. And that is the example that we checked before. If I say, I've never heard that, what am I saying here? I've never heard that. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Nunca he escuchado okay. eso. escuchado de esto. Exactly. So we have the word never. Yeah. Never yeah. is considered negative. negative. So can I say me too or me neither? 
Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. This is the same, guys. Imagine that you say, I never take a shower, for example. This sentence is affirmative or negative? Negative. It's negative. negative. Yeah. No tengo la palabra not. No tengo el auxiliary, but I have the word never. And never is considered negative. So imagine that your classmate says, hey, I never take a shower. <laughs> so what would you say? Me neither or me too? Me neither. Exactly. Me neither. So that's the way, guys, that we can use me too and me neither. Just remember, me too is when the sentence is affirmative. Me neither is when the sentence is in negative. Okay. Got Thank it? You. Yes? Yes. Everybody, um, is it clear? Yes. yes. It's clear. Okay. I will ask him questions about it, so I hope you don't forget it. Okay. Um, now, I have this sentence very elegant okay instead of saying very what do you think what can we say absolute ah sound much better absolutely elegant now pronunciation of this word hotel hotel, hotel. okay hotel we pronounce the letter h as a h sound okay hotel okay um another details that i was listening guys and everybody pay a lot of attention here um we are not asking questions correctly imagine these sentences are questions for example the place is clean or dirty is this a correct question is that the correct structure no what is the correct structure? Is the place. Is the place clean. Ah, the verb to be is at the, the beginning. Thing. Is the place clean or dirty? That is the correct question. Now, I listen to another question. You like it? Is that the question? No. What no. is the correct one? Do you like, do it? You like, like it? it? Ah, do you like it? Another one. You was sick to was start sick? with. Okay, but can I say was if I'm talking about you? Was you sick? No. Where? Uh -huh. Where are you was sick? Was or where? Where are you, where are you sick? Ah, and where? the correct one is where. 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 Okay. Were you sick? So be careful because sometimes we are asking questions, but in an affirmative sentence. Okay, so be careful with that. Now, let me interview you. Do I have a volunteer who wants to talk? Or should I pick someone? The ones with the camera off. So, uh, da, da, da. I have Elias. Hello, Elias. Yes, too late. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, Elias, tell me a place you visited uh, and describe it using the extreme adjectives. Uh, yesterday, I visited uh, Taqueria. I, visit? I visited uh, Taqueria Los Potrillos, and the the food was uh, absolutely delicious. And um, when I when I uh, <laughs> ate. Ate uh, the food. Um, mine uh, thinking in, in Mexico. Um, so it was a nice place. Okay, very good, Elias. If you paid attention, which extreme adjectives did he use? Delicious. Delicious. Oh my. It's it's uh, oh delicious is a base basic verb. Not really. No, 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 not really. Tasty or good is basic. Uh, so so far so good. And now you yeah. say the verbs in past. Excellent. Okay. Um, Elias, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, Boris. 
All Sorry. right. <laughs> okay, Boris, tell me, um, describe your job. Uh, I, 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 my, my job is a fantastic, uh, I, uh, uh, I, I enjoy uh, the activities for the 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 worker and the the food is a is absolutely delicious in the the the. How do you say comedor? You can say cafeteria. Cafeteria. Or cafeteria. Ca cafeteria. The, 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 the food is, is delicious in the cafeteria. In, uh, I, 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 I near the, the, the house in, uh, and the salary? I'm sorry? And the salary is fantastic too? Yes, it's fantastic. Yes, it's fantastic. <laughs> nice. So nice. very good. If you paid attention, Boris was using extremely adjectives and also he was using absolutely. So very good job. Thank you. Boris, can you pick one of your classmates? Kevin Alfredo. <laughs> okay. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Kevin, uh, can you describe your favorite movie? Um, really, uh, I have a lot of favorite movies, uh, but in my group, I talk about I. Yes, I, I talk mm -hmm. my favorite movie is White Chicks. Because he, this movie, it's absolutely funny. I don't know if, if funny is extreme, extreme adjective, but mm -hmm. I use this adjective. Okay, hey. very good, very good. What else can you tell us about that movie? Mm, really, just... Yes. It's, it's absolutely funny and have uh, two cop who looks two girls but uh, talk about the person with the skin white and person with the skin black. <laughs> it's very funny really. All right, sounds good. Now do you think that funny is extreme or can we say another one? What do you think? Any idea? Maybe hilarious? Yes. I'm sending it in the chat. Hilarious. That is like the extreme adjective for fun, funny. Okay, Kevin, nice job. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Mm. Osman. Hello, Osman. Me, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Tell okay. me, um, describe your hometown. Hometown? Mi ciudad? Yes, the city, the place okay. where you live. Mm -hmm. Okay. My, my city is, is near, near Fontana City. It's just five minutes. Uh, Quatepeque Lake is uh, now my city is more safe. Safety uh, is 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 a small city, a small yeah. city. But but the neighborhood is uh, is friendly. Uh, the commerce uh, is is grow grow commerce is grow. Oh, it's growing. It's growing. The commerce is growing now. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the weather is sometimes cold uh, and sometimes hot. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? What else? Mm. Okay, instead of saying small, what extreme adjective can I use? Uh, uh, tiny? Tiny? No. Which one? Tiny. Tiny, yes. yes. My, my, my city is tiny. It's tiny, okay. but it's very small, but it's tiny. Instead of saying, um, what was the adjective? The, about the weather, if I want to say that it's hot. Uh, let me see, hot, hot, hot. Uh, I don't remember a, a extreme adjective, hot. <laughs> no worries, your classmate Bowling. will help Bowling. you. Bowling? Bowling, yes. Bowling. <laughs> Very yes. good. Uh, this day the weather uh, was boiling, boiling. Oh, boiling. right, really? Yes. <laughs> I think in, in all country the weather is, is that. It is, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Except, I think that the only city in El Salvador that is not boiling is El Pital, right? I think yes. that's the only one. <laughs> but uh, uh, my, I, I feel I feel fine my in my city. Okay. Uh, my 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 city is fantastic. It's fantastic. For okay. Me. <laughs> Sounds good. Excellent. All right. Nice job, guys. If you see, now you are trying to use the new vocabulary, and that is exactly what I want. If you remember the purpose for this level, the purpose that I want to get with you are to learn vocabulary and speak more. Now you are using the vocabulary. The only things that you need is try to give me more. Sometimes your answers are very short. So from now, you have to think that for every questions that I ask, you need to talk for at least one minute. That must be your purpose. Every time that I ask you something, you have to think, hey, I need to talk for one minute. Okay. So if I ask you, hey, tell me about your job. That is a very open question. You can give a lot of details. So you have to consider, hey, okay, I'm going to talk for one minute. That must be your goal. Got it? Yes? So try to speak. Try to give me more. Now, uh, very good with the extreme adjectives. Guys, if you want to learn more vocabulary about the extreme adjective, Google is your best friend. On Google, you can write just the topic, extreme adjectives. And you will see a list of um, different adjectives that you can use. Try to write it down, trying to choose the adjectives that are the most common, okay? But practice, because uh, remember, in this level, we are going to talk a lot. So I wanted to use the vocabulary. Now let's stop thinking about uh, the extreme adjectives. Uh, let's talk about something else. And we are going to talk about the relevance of logistic. What do you understand of logistics? What is that? What do you think? What comes to your mind when you listen to the word logistic? Any idea? Is logistics is the <clears throat> form for the activities the activities uh, in the in the job or logistic in the the distribution the distribution channel distribution channels distribution okay channels. good for, yes uh, the 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 logic the the, the Sales de de o sales de 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 product in mm. in, 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 in sorry 
but the, you the, see the, the company the company or, or, or center the, the the or center the distribution the distribution center is the in the store ah okay hey now it, boris it, you are it, giving details it, it, okay uh, is is the the the, the, the is the uh, match the 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 consumer for the product product All right. the manufacturing the manufacturing so, was yes yeah, sounds good sounds good thank you a lot of detail that's what I want what else guys how about maybe, you what do you think maybe it's a, a step by two step uh, for a deliver product or service from manufacturing or a import importation to a give to consumer. Oh, very interesting too. Excellent. Anyone else? What comes to your mind? In my company, we use uh, a lot this uh, this word logistic, uh, but the main meaning is. Uh, online process. Mm, okay, that makes sense. So, <laughs> anyone else? Sure, including procurement inventory control. Ah, very good. Nice job. So basically, guys, everything that you talked is related to this word related to logistic and that is basically what we are going to be discussing in this topic okay so i have some questions for you and i want you guys to participate so everybody wake up everybody pay attention and give me your opinion the first question says it is important for retailer stores do you remember the meaning of retailer stores Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, do you think, guys, is it important for retailer stores to know the strength and weaknesses of the competition? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. Why? Because he, they need a um, make. A strategic for uh, approving the strengths and for uh, work about the weaknesses. Hmm. Okay. For a from the problems around it. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. That's correct. How about you guys? What do you think? It is important to know the strengths or weaknesses of your competition. Yes or no? Yes, teacher, it's important because we can use or take advantage about their weaknesses and, mm -hmm. and we can avoid uh, some markets where our competitor is is very forced very all right forced. And, and we can avoid this market and and we can enfocar uh, we can focus we can focus in others in others markets that's true very good point excellent guys thank you now look at the next question. Uh, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the question number two. Me, teacher. Yes. What is your opinion about the following? The cons the customer is always right. Hmm. What do you think, guys? The customer think, is always right. Uh -huh. I think the sentence is right. I agree. Because uh, the people uh, is buying. If the people don't don't, don't like something, uh, only goes other factory, mm -hmm. others other yes, other company 
other store and the money also live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Everybody, do you agree with the customer is always right? A teacher, in, in my case, uh, I have 50% 50, 50 agree. Mm. Because when we are talking about the customer service, yes, the sentence sounds so good. But in the operation, maybe sometimes uh, we can't uh, bring to our consumer customers uh, that they want. Mm. It is difficult to say the customer is always right, but we try to do this, but sometimes we can't do it. That's true. Imagine, guys, I think that it depends on this scenario, right? But, well, anyone else? What do you think about it? Uh, I believe no. Uh, it depends the context about the uh, what the uh, customer says. Sometimes maybe uh, they have the reason, but uh, other times maybe no or it's not possible that they want. Mm, that's correct. Very good. Now, if you want to give your opinion, guys, there are some phrases that are very useful that we can use. For example, if you agree, you can say, I agree. Okay, can I say, I am agree? What do you think? No. Okay. I am agree? Oh, Never. Yeah. No, right? Oh, we no. don't okay. need the verb to be. We say only I agree. Okay. I am agree? No. The opposite. The opposite of I agree? What do you think? I'm not agree. Ah, I don't, I don't agree. agree. Can I say I am not agree? No. Never. No. Okay. Never. Um, also, you can say, I think so. What do you think? What is the meaning of I think so? Creo que sí. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. This is more like in affirmative way. Like, for example, when you say, yo creo que sí, right? Or when we say, eso creo. Imagine that I say, guys, um, is it going to rain tonight? What do you think? Ah, think you can so. say, I think so, right? Yes, I think so. A veces decimos eh, algo en Spanish y lo traducimos al English y decimos, I think yes. So, en lugar de decir, yo creo que sí, I think yes. En lugar de eso, vamos a decir, I think so. Ok. Sometimes the opposite, a veces decimos, yo creo que no. Entonces decimos, I think no. So, para no decir I think no, decimos, I, I don't, don't think so. so. All right. So, si, es, si ustedes dicen que sí, creo que sí, decimos, I think so. But if the answer is no, like, no, no creo, right? Decimos, I don't think so. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, that's another one. I'm not sure about I'm it. Not sure about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about it. Very good. Okay, so about this, the customer is always right. Well, it depends, right? Depending right. on the context. Um, okay, next question. Let's see. Volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Yes. What do you think, logic? Logistics is about. Very what good. Do mm -hmm. What do you think logistics is about? Well, basically, at the beginning, I asked you, right? And all your answers were related to this. So let's skip the number three. 
How about the number four? If you are thinking about logistic, okay, what are the responsibilities of a logistician? Remember that in this case, if we're talking about a logistician, is the person that is in charge of the logistic. What are the responsibilities of this person? What do you think? Teacher, mm -hmm. is that you sometimes the, the in, intro or out the, the product, intro the, the, the materials mm -hmm. or the manufacturing, it out is the, the, the product uh, uh the the store very good it has a lot of responsibilities any other idea guys teacher uh, mm -hmm. i my work is in logistic ah and very my, good and my responsibility is warranty or guarantee mm -hmm. uh, the transport uh, to give uh, to my cost to my customers or the consumer uh, the product on time in full. Ah, very good. So you see, those are some of the responsibilities for the logistic department. So we're going to discuss about it, all right? Now, before checking this, we are going to practice some reading. And remember, we practice all the skills. We already practiced speaking, so let's try to practice a little bit reading comprehension. In this reading, guys, uh, these are some habits, okay, some following habits um, that we can see in some successful retailers, okay? If you want to be successful, I mean, you can practice these habits. We are going to read them and you have to tell me if you agree or not, if you consider it's a good habit or not, okay? This reading, guys, this paragraph is on your manual. So you can go to your manual, it's in the page 16. So we have here, look, different habits, and I will need people for reading. So I want to listen to many volunteers. The first habit is prioritizing is key. I need a volunteer for reading, please, from here until here. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Pamela, go ahead. Prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused on and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Thank you. Is this a good habit, guys? Do you agree or not? Yes. I agree. Ah, I agree. so in your job, think about your job. Do you have guys or do you work with time limits or deadlines? Yes. 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 It is easy to get these goals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, but mm -hmm. no, always. Very good. Sometimes, not always, but the idea is to do the job in a specific period of time, right? Very good. Okay, so this is one. Prioritizing is the key. Very good. Now, the second habit is letting go is a must. I need a volunteer for reading, please. me thank you go ahead uh, letting go is a mouse south of folk retailers analyze 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 this, analyze these situ situations as oppor opportunities to learn from versus between 
themselves, them, themselves up, themselves, themselves up, or the more retailers now throw hard day, the better they are in the support supporting their customers. Thank you. Hmm. Let's analyze this one. Letting go is a must. What do you understand in this habit? Uh -huh. So imagine in this case, guys, when the, imagine that you have a retailer store and you have difficult situations, do you give up or do you see and analyze these situations as opportunity to learn? What do you think? What do you need to do when you fail? Analyze this. Situation. Analyze. Analyze ah. the, the, this situation as, as opportunity to learn for the for the versus. So that is the idea, right? So is this a good habit? or not yes for yes. improve yes definitely and here in this kind of situations is when we get feedback what is a feedback exactly is when somebody says okay let's have a feedback i will tell you all the things that, that you did great, but also I will tell you the areas of improvement. Do you do this at work? Yes or not? Have you ever received a feedback in your job? Yes. Yes? Everybody and you? Yes. 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 Very good. Sometimes the feedbacks are not so good, but you have to analyze these situations as opportunities. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. The next one, the next habit is training staff is vital. I need someone else for reading. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Training stat is viral. The key to invest time and dollars into your employees to read the rewards of a strong association and has some result a strong salaries. All right. Let me ask you guys, when you started to work uh, at your currently job, did you receive a training? Yes. Yes. Ah, so do you think that it's a good idea to give a training to the employees? Yes. yes. But because, uh -huh. because it's important the the different situation, for example, uh, a new in my case, in my job, a new product introduced as I let the company is necessary identify the product characteristics character, uh, characteris, characteristics um, characteristics and benefit the, the different product uh, because the offer the the customer um sell the product is necessary the training mm, very good so you see guys even if you have to invest time or dollars Training is vital, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to have successful, it is always yeah. necessary to get a training. Is there anyone here who didn't receive a training in your job? In my jobs is uh, the employer, uh, for example, the, the, the operator, the, the, the machine, 
is a uh, a training for the 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 other other employee. Mm, for, okay. For because uh, in, in the 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 operator is is incapacitated incapacitated ah, incapacitado yes. or, or or vacation mm -hmm. or. There should be someone else to take its place. Yes. And let me ask you guys, do you receive more trainings in your job, like frequently, or do you receive only one training in your life? What do you think? In my case, I have received uh, some trainers uh during uh, the year ah very good so every year you are receiving some trainings yes in my case uh, i work with uh, a government treatment tramite de gobierno okay some government treatment government treatment for the reason uh, he changed uh, they tram it frequently and yes. this one is necessary at all. So yes. basically you are changing the process. You need to mm -hmm. know again, the new product, new processes. Yes. All right, very good. So is these guys a good habit for companies? A good yes. what, teacher? A good habit. What is it? Habit. What is habit, guys? Habitos, buenos habitos. Yes, exactly. So if a company wants to be successful, necesita practicar ciertos habits. And training staff is one of them, okay? Now, another thing that you can do if you want to be successful in your company is knowing the competition. Volunteer for reading, please. Yes, go ahead. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive uh, retail marketplace. Thank you. So what do you think of this one, guys? Do you think that knowing the competition is a priority? Yes or no? Yes. So in I, your company, in your company, guys, do you know your competitors? In my company, teacher, uh, we know what is the strategy the price strategy about our competition, our competitor, mm -hmm. because my company is focused uh, in our in our in our price strategy. Mm, okay, so you have to. I mean, for you, knowing the competition is a priority, definitely. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Uh huh. Anyone else? Do you agree with this statement? It is important to know the competition. Yes, teacher, is is important and necessary because mm -hmm. the the different company uh, establish your your strategies, the the marketing. For example, mm -hmm. it's necessary uh, seeing the, the different for the new strategy uh, for the um, reaccionar. React. React um, and, uh, and the activities and um, major the, the or establish uh, different strategies because mm, mm, no, the the Lord, the the the, the mayor place, for example, and establish and um, establish establish 
establish um, a strategy, the marketing um, or price, for example, and depend that the different company mm. is necessary. Very good, totally excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, in the last one, everyone, if you want to be successful, what do we need to do? Shifting store inventory is okay. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Uh huh. The last one, please. Okay, guys, let's participate. Okay, me teacher. Thank you, go ahead. <laughs> Shifting a store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customer, react to customer trends, work with vendors and respond to what customer want. That is how you are able to affect Tiverly by inventory for your stores. Thank you. Think about this, guys. Imagine that you have a store and the store sells cell phones. But you know that every year, I mean, almost every month, we have new cell phones, new types of cell phone. Do you think that is necessary to change our merchandise? Do you know that it's necessary to renovate the product just to uh, give the customer what they want? Yes, teacher. We, we need to put in front of the consumer uh, the new models about mm -hmm. this, the cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, the consumers... Mm, don't, mm -hmm. don't 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 want uh, see uh, to see cell phones uh, to to of two years ago exactly so what happens to those retailer stores that they don't shift stores i mean that they don't change their inventory what happens to those stores Do they, they, they will be outside of merchant about market yes yes they don't look attractive for the mm -hmm. market teacher Yes, just imagine a store that sells clothes. Imagine that they sell all the time the same type of clothes, the same t-shirts, the same jeans, for example. They never innovate. They never pay attention to the customer trends. What will happen with them? Do you consider that they will sell a lot of product? What do you think? No, they lost all the sales. Yes, they will lose all their customers. They are not going to sell. They are not going to generate money. Okay, so these are some tips for your retailer store. These are some tips if you want to be successful. Which of this one do you consider I mean, this is your own opinion. Which of this one is the best tip? What do you think? Or which one is the most important? What do you think? For me, it's the first one, teacher. Prioris, priority, prioritizing. Prioritizing? Prioritizing is key. Mm, okay. Oh, for, for me, is the training stuff is, is vital. Ah, sounds good. For me, it's not winning the competition. It's a priority because uh, he can, um, he know or they know the the necessity uh, about the 
merchandising, uh, technology, employer, hair, uh, staff of employees for this reason. That's good. Look at these guys. All of you have different opinions. I love it. Anyone else? Which of these ones do you consider is the most important? The employee is his hair, hair vital, the, the company. Okay. Sounds good. Anyone else? <laughs> okay. I, I have a question. Uh, you repeat about the let it go is a must. Really, okay. I, don't, I don't understand the idea about this habit. Okay. Letting go is a must, guys. Um, okay, let's translate it. What is that? If we say let it go or let go, what is that? Soltarlo. Yes, like leave it. And in this case, we were talking about situations when we fail. Okay, cuando fallamos, ¿cómo vemos eso? Do we react as an opportunity or do we wake up like, I know, give up. Okay, ¿cómo reaccionamos? We need to see it as opportunities. Also, guys, imagine that you have um, toxic employees. <laughs> what do you think? Should the company let the, co let the employees go or should they keep them? Let, what do you think? Let he, let he go. Let, Let him go. go, exactly. And this happens with the customers too. Should we as a company keep the toxic customers, the ones that they are always complaining, they don't want to pay, they want always some refund, discount. Should we keep those customers or just let them go? Let them go. Yes. So uh, letting go is a must. Es más como dejarlos ir. A veces es una necesidad, right? It's like, man, we have to do it. That I is the meaning. It. I got it, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to say in my company, and we need to let it go to customers because uh they they don't pay us <laughs> yes imagine guys why do you want customers that they don't pay i mean <laughs> they are not giving you revenue they are not generating money they are just generating problems headaches <laughs> lose okay so that's why letting go sometimes, guys, is necessary, okay? Now, these are some tips for successful companies. Um, are they clear, all of them? Yes? Any questions so far? Okay, yeah. if no questions, Guys, tomorrow I will be asking about it, okay? So keep in mind what we just read. I hope you remember. Now, because, my gosh, we don't have more time. Uh, did I check attendance the second time? No, right? No. Okay, no, let me, no. uh, very quick, I'm going to check attendance the second time. Thank you. Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eh, Eulice Torres. All right. Eh, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. All right, Josman Atilio. Present. Okay, Kevin Alfredo. Present. All right, Nelson Alberto. Present. All right, Osman Enrique. Present. Okay, Pamela Carolina. Present. All right, Rafael Alexander. 
present. Okay, Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, we are going to continue tomorrow before leaving. The winner for tonight, el que se tiene que quedar un ratito, is Edwin Antonio. <laughs> okay, Edwin, you mm -hmm. have to stay. The rest of you guys, you are free. Go to sleep, have a wonderful night, and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Hello, Edwin. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Okay. I don't want to take so much time. I know that you might be tired. So this meeting is just to talk a little bit. All right. Um, I okay. can see that you have been working on the platform. So good, good job. Uh, I can see 80% on the platform. Is it easy or difficult, the platform, so far? So far, it's easy for me right now. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so how about the classes? How do you feel the classes in this level? I feel good because I am learning and there is some things and words and meanings that I didn't know. And now I learn about it. Ah, that's great. So which area in English is more difficult for you? Speaking, listening, writing, reading, grammar? I think uh, the speaking because um, sometimes I am scary to uh, make a mistake and mm -hmm. that is difficult but I know that I have to learn because I have to use in my work. Very good and where do you work? Sorry? Where do you work? I work in Confecciones del Valle as a customer service Ah, so do you speak in English sometimes? Yes, because I work with uh, people USA in the USA. Oh, really? Hey, that's good. Yes. That's interesting. So it is important, very important for learning, uh, for you to learn in English, right? Yes, that gave me an opportunity for uh, learn more about English. Mm, okay, that's excellent. So I know speaking is difficult. I think that it's for everyone. All right, so during the class, please, I need you to participate a lot. So the people who participate more, that's the people that learned more. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you want to learn more, you have to participate in every single class. Don't be afraid to, to make mistakes. I mean, here in the class, we can make mistakes because that's why we are here, to improve. Yes. All right? Very okay. good. Is there any topic in specific that you feel difficult right now? So in this moment, I don't remember, but I think this topic that we are learning are uh, who explain and I think it's all clear. Excellent, that's great. So um, during the class, please, every time that you have a question, just tell me, I will be willing to help all the time. If you remember a topic uh, that you feel that is difficult for you, just let me know. You can send it in the chat or on WhatsApp's group. You can tell me, teacher, I want to review this topic. And we can take some minutes in the class to review that specific topic. Okay? okay. Excellent. Okay. okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far. Not so far. 
Excellent. Okay, so let's continue participating. You are doing great. Please don't forget that attendance is important. Don't miss any class and continue working on the platform. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Edwin, for staying. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye.